If you're poor, tell your kids. Let them know they could be whatever they want to be when they grow up, but let them know where they're starting so they know. <laughs> you don't want what happened to me to happen to your kids. Right? I found out that we were poor in public, and that's embarrassing. <laughs> like, I'll never forget the day I found out that we were poor, right? I was 10 years old. I was at a sleepover at my friend's house. It was dinner time. And I said to my friend's mom, I go, excuse me, where's your ketchup drawer? <laughs> If you're laughing right now, you're a poor shit growing up. You should know that. Look around. There are people not laughing. Look at how they're looking at us. Like, what the hell is so funny? What's a ketchup drawer? See how they're looking at us? It's the same way my friend's mom looked at me. But you know how moms are nice? She got down on my level. She was like, Mel... What do you mean ketchup drawer? When I was 10, I wanted ketchup. I was like, where do you keep your ketchup at? Like with an attitude, where's your ketchup? She was like, in the fridge. I was like, oh, I didn't check that drawer. I didn't check that drawer. She says, no, Mal, it's on the door. And at 10 years old, you guys, it's the first time I ever saw ketchup in a bottle, right? I was like, whoa! That's a lot of ketchup! You guys must be rich. That's all the ketchup. How many packets did you have to sleep? That's not how we got ketchup. And I say we, I mean my family and those of you that are dying laughing right now. Like, I don't know where you guys went, but my mom took us to McDonald's, right? She ordered one large fry and then she told us, go get ketchup. And we knew what she meant. We're not getting ketchup for these fries. We're shopping for the house right now. This might as well be the ketchup aisle at the grocery store. That's what's happening right now. <laughs> I'm the oldest. I knew the drill, you guys. I went first. Just walked up to the ketchup, grabbed a big-ass handful, put it in my pocket, another handful, put it in my other pocket, one for the road, and I bounced. <laughs> my little brother and sister right behind me, same thing. Handful, pocket, handful, pocket, one for the road, bounce. My youngest brother, he wanted to help too, but at the time, he wasn't tall enough to see, so sometimes he got ketchup, <laughs> sometimes salt and pepper, but he... <laughs> one handful of... another handful of something, and then the napkins were right at eye view. He would just get all the napkins. <laughs> so we would go straight home and empty our little pockets into the ketchup drawer, right? Next to the Taco Bell hot sauce. <laughs> and the KFC buffalo sauce. We're Asian, so we had soy sauce all in the back. This is my favorite bit to do every night just because it's not race exclusive, you guys. Everybody had this drawer. If you were white and you had a ketchup drawer, it's mayonnaise and ranch all in the back. White people always steal the jelly too. They got jelly, put the jelly. They're always at Denny stealing the jelly. Get that jelly from that table. Get the jelly. <laughs> Black people, it's barbecue sauce and hot sauce all over the place. And the honey packets from KFC. Get the honey. Get bring the honey home. We'll make peanut butter and honey. Get the honey. Put the honey. Latinos, just Cholula and Tapatio everywhere. It's the ketchup drawer. I love that I can literally hear some of you guys catching your breath right now. I spoke to some of your souls for the last three minutes. Took a walk down memory lane. You remember your ketchup drawer. I like that. 